I'm Representative Joel McIntyre. I live in Kathlamet in Little Waukiacum County, and that's in southwest Washington. Uh, I, uh, I was elected in 2020, and then again in 2022, I represent the 19th Legislative District, and that's southwest Washington. I have six counties in my, uh, or, or portions of counties in my, uh, in my district. I have all of Pacific County, I have all of Waukiacum County, and then I have parts of Cowlitz County, Grays Harbor County, Lewis County, and now after redistricting, I have just a few square miles of Thurston. It's, uh, it's a, considered to be a very rural uh, district. It's, it's quite large. It takes me about three hours to drive from one side uh, to the other. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, historic farmland, forestry. We have, uh, we have the coast. We have the, we have the ocean on our, on our west, and we have the Columbia River on our south. And so we just have a, a great uh, picturesque place. A lot of pictures of Washington that people think about as the Evergreen State come from, come from my district. Being that there's almost 150 legislators, people tend to focus on the things that they have specific knowledge or experience with. And my, my specific experience when it comes to legislating is in education. I was a middle school science teacher for a few years. Uh, I also worked for a university, actually two different universities in my time. One, while I was trying to avoid crippling student debt, I worked as a, um, a professor's assistant uh, in, the, in the chemistry department when I was going to Central Washington University. I also was a, uh, a counselor, a, a program counselor for Western Governors University, um, and that is a job I did during COVID. It was a work from your home office uh, job, and so my background is in education, and because of that, some of the legislative items that take up most of my attention tend to be those concerning education about uh, streamlining it, making our kids uh, get the best outcomes that they can, and getting getting uh, an education playing field that where everyone can thrive. You know, that's what we're really looking to to do is to maximize everybody's potential in education. Also, part of it is about school construction. Uh, right now, we've got a big debate on who should be footing the bill or taking the initiative when it comes to buildings uh, for schools. And that's something that I'm heavily invested in with legislation and, and working on. The majority of my volunteering that I that I do is is through my through my church. Um, churches usually give a huge uh, uh, bandwidth of opportunities to be able to uh, work with the elderly, work with the youth. Um, when I was a, when I was a young man and I graduated from high school, I I did a two year mission for my for my church. I I went to uh, the eastern United States to Ohio. Um, there was a lot of flood damage out there that I was able to help with some humanitarian aid, also proselyting, working with people, um, getting, them, uh, getting them to church and, and helping to you know, teach, teach about the scriptures. That was what I did at that time. Uh, now I've, I've worked with uh, youth groups in, in my church and uh, just, just volunteering where I can here and there. <laughs>